So right now we're gonna go through the um, ascending minor shape. Um, this one is pretty tricky, so um, you really need to practice it slowly. We're gonna use all the fingers of the right hand except the first finger because it holds the pick. So I'm gonna play it first, um, the whole thing. We we'll play the whole thing first, and then we'll go through it slowly. First thing, I'm not using the air tie. Um, when practicing it, I'm not using it because um, I really want to focus on trying to have all my notes clean. Then, when I'm playing the, um, the whole piece uh, up to speed, yes, I'm using it because there are some parts it's really difficult to have enough time when you play really fast to have enough time to mute with the right hand without um, having some random noises. Like, for example, if I'm lifting my right hand can hear what happens and like for example in the first part when I'm doing this uh, previously shown lick like for example when I'm doing this I have to lift my right hand palm to uh, unmute but when I'm doing this I'm doing a lot of noise so that's why when playing fast for those kind of licks I'm using the atai right now for practicing no atai um, also, you will need to practice it with both uh, no gain and lots of gain. Why? Um, no gain because it will force you to use your strength uh, on the left hand to have every note sound equal and even. Um, and with lots of gain to uh, work on the muting. Because if you have tons of gain, um, everything will be ringing if you don't pay attention. So I advise you to practice both. Okay, so first part. Um, here um, we're gonna use T2 and T3. So for those who don't know, um, the rest equally are the um, direct tailor videos because they are the, the specialists in these um, areas. T2 is finger two, T3 is finger three, T4 is finger four on the right hand. T because of tapping. So we start with the hammer from nowhere on the left hand. And then we tap, everything nice and even. Then we jump and we do the string skipping, going to the G string. Still the same thing, hammer on from nowhere. And um, you have to be really careful here when you hit your string here, you have to lift the finger immediately. Because if you don't, don't want that. So, we're just gonna repeat the same pattern of the right hand um, on the same string before moving to the G string as well with the right hand, so it's like, then tapping again, and then moving, and then same thing up to the E string. And then that's the trickiest part. T2, uh, T2, T3, and T4. Okay, so um, this you can work separately. You just go and practice this with um, a nice even tempo in between all the notes. Then you descend uh, by just doing pull, pull offs. And you tap again. And here we're gonna we, we're gonna do it two times with the right hand. Then we have the end of the part, 
uh, basically it's the exact same thing as the beginning uh, except that we'll have two um, different arpeggios uh, one will be diminished and the other one will be uh, seventh um, so it goes like this, same thing as the first one then diminished Slower, so you can really see the fingerings. And that's it. So, um, still the same advice is I will repeat it every time metronome, 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 metronome. If you don't like it, that's the same. Just practice with your metronome, everything, even same tempo, um, all, all the notes count, um, which means there is no, not like if you throw it it's just like, okay, that's good, uh, that's fine, no, every note should sound fine. Um, then, before you accelerate the tempo, you make sure that it's perfect. When it's perfect, you increase the tempo slightly. You don't go through the, the whole thing really fast if you do not manage to play it slowly, okay? So that's it for now. Um, I wish you a very good practicing and until then I see you there. Uh, sorry, <laughs> until then. Um, I wish uh, you a very great time with this leak and um, feel free to send your versions. Uh, that would be cool. Um, and yeah, and see you soon then. Bye-bye.